ladies, at the count of three. One, two, three. Live, Live from, from OKC, OKC. <laughs> it's Monday, Monday night. night. <laughs> 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 okay, now we're gonna start over. <laughs> it's going well. Yeah, it's going really well. Yeah. Live from, from OKC. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. We're gonna have the blooper reel. Right. Uh, <laughs> Live from OKC. Okay. It's, it's Monday, Monday night. night. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Senior Carlos. Shout out to Joe Lavery. We want to say hi and all the way in California. Hi, Joe Lavery. We love you, baby. Say hi to Joe. Hi, Joe. One, two, three. Okay, C. One, two, three. Okay, C. Okay, C is the place to be. OKC is the place to be. At C. Jarvis Insurance Agency, we have a heart for horses and for the people involved in their care, breeding, and training. The Jarvis Agency has been owned and operated by us, a family of horsemen, since it was founded. Since 1946, we have taken a personal interest in the lives and livelihoods of horse owners and equine entrepreneurs, giving us a unique understanding of the needs specific to horse owners as well as those in equine-related businesses. Through our International Bloodstock Agency, we are able to insure your family, friend, or your multi-million dollar stallion with individually tailored policies that cover your exact needs. 
Whether your investment is an American Saddlebred World Champion Gated Horse, Morgan Grand National Park Horse, Cobtail Hackney Pony, or a Backyard Companion, C. Jarvis provides the very best coverage available. And our unparalleled service allows us to offer equine coverage not only locally, but nationally and internationally. Jarvis Insurance Agency provides total insurance protection for ranches and farms, as well as major breeding and training centers responsible for hundreds of horses and clients. Now we have taken our coverage a step further to you, the professional or non-professional horseman. Our new worldwide accident policy covers injuries on or off the job, indemnifying you with weekly compensation. Our number one goal is to provide you with the best possible service. To attain that goal, we employ a staff of professionally trained agents who share our commitment, our knowledge, and our expertise. For details, check us out on the web at www.jarvisinsurance.com. Then give us a call. We'd love to help you protect your equine dreams. We are at Taylor River Farm. We are in big time celebratory mode. Um, my friend next to me, to my immediate left, is Seaview Justified. And there's a great backstory with uh, his barn name is Jesse. And there's a great backstory with his trainer, uh, Richard Boulay, and his driver who won big time just a few minutes ago, Jeff Gove. So let me hand the mic over to you guys and uh, you guys tell your story. This story is really about Rich and this horse. <laughs> So he's going to, if he can keep from crying, tell no. you the story. No, well, um, we, I first saw Jesse when he was two years old. It took us till he was four before they would even consider selling him to Taylor River. And, and so when he was four, we purchased Jess, and we had a very successful show season. And then by the time he was six, we had did, did sell him, missed him very much, but we had a great opportunity uh, this past June to buy him back. So he came back to be part of the GOAT family partnership once again. And once we got him, Jeff said he would drive him. So we started actually the late first week of July. And so Jeff could get ready to come here to show him. And there we are. And, and I can promise you this, <laughs> Richie will never let him leave the barn again. That's <laughs> it, he's home for life. So Jesse, we love you, buddy. Yeah. Well, and, and Richard is Jesse's trainer, and absolutely, they have a fantastic relationship. But without Jeff having, you know, Taylor River Farm and without Jeff consenting to drive him as well as he does, then there, we wouldn't have the triumvirate of these three uh, wonderful guys. And the class just came out a few minutes ago, and it was terrific. Uh, it was tied unanimously, which means all three judges. He was first on all three judges' cards. Um, Richard, give me a real, uh, tell me about how he cleaned stalls with you that you taught him uh, this winter. Jess has a great personality, and over one of the winters, I decided that since we were doing his stall, I'd show him how to clean the stall, because he would always turn his back to me and then all of a sudden put his neck, like, over my shoulder. I give him the pitchfork, he holds the pitchfork, and then we taught him how to clean the stall. He 
pushed the, into the sawdust. He picked the whole pitch fork up by the handle and start moving around. It only took about a month, but we got pretty good at it. But he has a great personality, fun personality. Do you have something to say, Jeff? Yeah. Manja, manja. Oh, we have to go and get the mints now. We're just thrilled for, the, you know, these guys. And, and uh, this is really kind of a um, Morgan horse story that happens lots and lots of times. And pr it's not shared with the public uh, as often as it should be. And so that's, uh, you know, one of the endearing things about stories such as this. They do happen with great regularity. And we're glad it happened here at Taylor River Farm with these three gentlemen. Yours are the shoulders that others depend on. To be there. To never let them down. And to get the job done. So when there's a lot riding on your shoulders, there's a lot riding on ours. Welcome to Fairfield Inn and Suites. Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott. Let's get it done. This is the most precarious seat I will be in all week. And even though I'm in the secretary's office, it's very, very dangerous. And our friend Larry Bolin, whom we know and love, can attest to this. And, and he can tell stories about these gals later on in the week when uh, he's in the Horse Show Wire uh, broadcast booth. But I would like to present the lovely Peggy Hatfield, show secretary extraordinaire. Thank you. And her lovely daughter, Kelly <laughs> McFall. Uh, and what is your job title there? My job title is now administrative assistant. I do many things for the horse show among, I mean, besides working in the office. I send out all the contracts and do the paperwork before the show and get everything organized. And I personally have to thank you because thanks to you, instead of staying in the no-tell motel like last year, <laughs> I'm, I'm in a lovely suite and I thank you for that. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Peggy, my darling, how long have you been show secretarying? Uh, this is my 22nd year. And I, under I started when I was 10. See, I, I'm, I understand that. <laughs> and I, I also uh, heard you relate a little uh, earlier that y sometimes you have trouble crossing state lines because of your parole officer. Is <laughs> That's <laughs> true. That's true. He does give me permission, yeah. though. Yeah. Yes. So after all these years, are you still scrutinized at each border? Yes, I am. Oh. But I pass. Th good. Do you have to carry her in the trunk? I do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, especially to get her back in the state. <laughs> <laughs> well, gals, now let's talk show stuff. Um, our numbers are up this year. We're happy about that. Yes, they are. They're up, um, I think, about 20, um, but, but up is good. Up is good. Uh -huh. And to what do we contribute our upness? Secretarial staff. Excuse me, ma'am, would you repeat it? Yes, the, the microphone? secretarial staff, the warm and hospitable secretarial staff that says. That will. <laughs> Duly noted, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to. a wonderful show. This is the greatest tour show, and we all love it. And the Morgan people, I think, all love it and look forward to it. Well, we had our show. What What is Mark Case's official title? He's an assistant manager. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, Mark was on the uh, roster for an interview right before you gals, and uh, he's just busy, 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 and. Uh, uh, so, and why he is so relevant is because he comes to us from, um, you know, the New England Morgan show, and so we want to chat with him about that. And the Morgan people, we just absolutely love them, and they've been very, very supportive of Horse Show Wire, and, and as you gals have well. Now, I get to work with you at Mass Morgan. We have tons. Yes, we have loads of fun. Yep. Yep, yep. And sports. Molly O'Brien is the manager there, and she's an exhibitor here at Taylor River, and so we love having Molly. And uh, what do you like about the Morgan business, Kelly? I love the people and all my friends. I mean, this is where all my friends are. When I go to horse shows, it doesn't matter where I go, I have a friend. Yep. 
Well, you do a wonderful job, and we ask you lots and lots of favors, and you always, A, you listen to us intently and don't give us dirty looks like you're being stupid, <laughs> and then you make it happen. So we are so appreciative. Uh, you, I don't know. Not so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's why you have your own little that's, inner sanctum that's why here. That's they keep me in here. Wow. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. Well, we love you gals, and there isn't one part of these showgrounds where you can go and have anybody that says anything less than, yay, secretaries, are they always. That's great, and, and we love them back. Exactly. We, we love our job, and it's, it's fun, and we're glad to see everybody, always glad to see everybody. I've not missed a Grand National ever in my, since it started, even in Detroit, and so this is, this is still exciting for me to come. Oh. Bless your little heart. And even in Detroit, is la you know, that's big words because um, that, that facility isn't even there as a I show know. facility. And I must have been five when I went there the well, first time. If you were five, I was four and a half. How's that? <laughs> well, gals, you know, you got uh, exhibitors coming in and they need your help, so we're going to cut you loose. But a million thank yous, and I love you guys ton. Can I have a little kiss? Yes. Mwah. We love you too. Yee-hoo. Room, please. Ta-da. Kaboom. everybody. Uh, Horse Show Wire is so proud to present a new fun fundraising concept that we call Pick Sixth and that's S-I-X-T-H. We don't want you to confuse it with the thoroughbred exacta betting which is uh, pick six horses. You only have to pick one but what you have to do is uh, write down the number of the exhibitor who is going to be sixth place in a designated class here in the Coliseum at the uh, State Fairgrounds at the Morgan World Championships. So we will tell you which class will be uh, selected by Horse Show Wire. There will be one class each night, Monday through Friday, so that'll be a total of five classes. It will be cumulative, and what we like for you nice people to do is to come into our Coliseum and actually watch the horse show from in there. So this will uh, encourage you to do that. And you bring your own little slip of paper and your own little writing stick, your pen or pencil. You put your name on the top. And then at the end of the class, in the lineup, you write down the number of the exhibitor that you think will get the green ribbon, the sixth place ribbon. Then you bring that piece of paper to me, Conky Price, at the Horse Show Wire uh, broadcast desk in the Coliseum. And I'm going to put all those uh, slips of paper in one jar. And you're also going to bring me a dollar for each slip of paper that goes in another jar. And then what happens at the end of the week, we will uh, have a separate jar, a third jar, with the names of only the, the, the contestants who have picked the correct sixth place exhibitor and it's just going to be tons of fun and it's not easy there's a lot of luck involved and so those names go into a separate jar and at the end of the week we'll have a drawing and that person whose name uh, is pulled out gets half of the money in the jar and we think because it's going to run for five days and it's going to be very popular because you're going to tell all your friends and neighbors to come in the coliseum and pick six come in the coliseum and pick six and bring your dollar and your slip of paper so at the end we're going to have lots of dollars in our jar and that person whose name is drawn will get 50% of those dollars. Now you ask who gets the other 50% of said dollars. And we have another concept that will run simultaneously Monday through Friday. Uh, we invite our stables to nominate their grooms, a groom. The project is called Grooms Are Great because we do think grooms are great. And without them, our horse show wouldn't function because our horses depend on them for their care and custody. So each stable can nominate as many grooms as they like on an individual basis. So they would write down their stable name, their groom's name, and submit a paragraph to me about why their groom is great. So bring it up to me, uh, or if you see me wandering around the grounds, which I 
absolutely will be doing all week. And then I will recite the uh, paragraph and acknowledge the grooms on Horse Show Wire live stream. And at the end of the week, their names go in a separate jar. And the name that we pull and select will get the other 50% of the money and it'll go to the groom. So we think those are a couple of projects that'll uh, instigate a lot of fun during the week and uh, generate a few bucks. So, and if you have any questions, uh, go to our webpage, horseshowwire.com, and uh, go to the Facebook link and write your question in the comment line, and it comes to us in real time, and we can get right back to you. So thanks so much. And obviously, it only applies to people here uh, on the showgrounds, uh, but the rest of you at home certainly can keep track of it and uh, see if you can come up with pick six as well. So uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll be in touch with you all the whole rest of the week.
Silva, Dragon's Beach Sea Dragon in World Championship form here on Monday night. Would you send them out with your applause? Horseshoe Wire is pleased to be at Waterford Farm here in uh, at the Grand National in Oklahoma City. One of my favorite places of people in the whole wide world. We've got uh, Lynn People's Party of Three, and they are repeat supporters of Horse Show Wire from the Horse Show last year here. And uh, Lynn and Kathleen and beautiful daughter Kendra have been in the Morgan business for a long time and have done some great, great things. Lynn has been a Morgan Horse uh, Breeder of the Year Award winner with his LPS band of exclusive broodmares. Uh, not only breeder of the year, but breeder of the, did we say decade, Kendra, or century? Yeah, decade. And well, <laughs> and we're working on the century mark. And Lynn and Kathleen work together and have a fabulous uh, training stable as well in what used to be Buttsville, Pennsylvania, or New Jersey. And now it is Oxford. They changed the mailing right. address. And so it's not nearly as much fun to mail them stuff and have an Oxford address as it was with Buttsford. And the lovely Kendra, uh, you're the Valentine's Day baby, right? Yeah, just about. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, Lynn, uh, tell us a little bit about some of the world champions that you've produced to, to uh, acquire a breeder of the year and then breeder of the decade. Oh, I think the most impressive was that we've had four different uh, in-hand stallions, world grand champion stallions, uh, that have won a total of eight world grand champion titles. Um, that probably is, and now they're producing horses that go on and, and win. Uh, like the world champion mare was by the boogeyman and the junior world champion uh, mare was by <coughs> um, a full brother of the boogeyman, town assets. So that all makes me very, very proud. Uh, three year old mare was out of a mare named uh, Elicit Love and we bred her and she was by a man in motion and we bred him. So, you know, all that second, third, fourth generation. Now, when we've had other conversations over beers and our, you know, former social encounters, um, you always tell me it's all about the brood mares. Are you still still in that? Um, still on board, yep. It's all about the mares and, and uh, those Hall of Fame brood mares. And I sure wish we had a Hall of Fame um, degree to give to some of these brood mares because they're surely worth it and they deserve it and uh, should have that recognition. Well, I think Julie Broadway just a little while ago in our interview with her was making, uh, they are making designations with, um, I don't think the term is Hall of Fame, but they are having significant uh, a category for, for brood mares. And they're, they're surely worthy of it because without them, you know, we'd be a much lonelier place to be in the breeding business. Well, uh, by virtue of them, of the American Morgan Horse Association in instigating the championship and grand championship status as the dog people and the saddlebred people do, uh, they did take it a step further and, and they're also in the process of doing it, you know, for the dams and it's a, um, it's a dam status and I can't recall the verbiage that she used, but uh, we'll pull it up for you and, and uh, you'll be very pleased about that. Absolutely. Okay, speaking of broodmares. Yes. Ta-da. <laughs> We love our Kendra. Yes, so, Mom, do, do uh, tell me about the contribution of being in the Morgan business that you think has helped formulate your daughter into the wonderful young lady that she is. <laughs> you know, I tell you, there's nothing like it. It it teaches family, camaraderie, competition, but mainly camaraderie. I mean, yeah. she watches because we're trainers helping other trainers and things like that. And I think it's really helped. It's helped her learn to organize her time. Yeah. Um, there's there's no greater skill than that yeah. I think right 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 but what about compassion for the for the animals I mean oh. Kendra strikes me as just <laughs> the sweetest most loving and giving and patient young woman and always has been and so uh, do you think the Morgan horses have, have played a role in that as well yes and I think growing up on a farm is the best experience in the world yep. for a kid. Yeah, exactly. As far as they, they learn a lot more than other kids do at an early age. Indeed. Yeah. So, Kendra, are we saying things that you find to process accurately in uh, <laughs> your upbringing? I think it's right. Yeah, I think growing up, um, going to all these shows, it just 
it gave me a sense of discipline for one, just seeing them work every single day. You know, we don't get holidays off, we don't get Christmas off, you know, we go down, we're still doing stuff and I think it helped make me a lot tougher than some than some people I know who kind of always had the easy route yeah. and I, I'm really, I'm more thankful for it every day. I think when I'm in college and something tough happens and I feel like I can handle it or um, or that I know how I'm going to work through it. I think the toughness of it just really helps out a lot. <laughs> well, now, from your compassionate side, it um, seems to me when I saw a picture of you on Facebook earlier this spring, you didn't look quite the same. What was that about? Um, so back in May, I shaved my head for an organization called St. Baldrick's, and they do childhood cancer research funding. They are the largest funder of childhood cancer research in the country. Um, so I decided to shave my head in, on May 2nd. Um, I called my parents and they kind of thought I was crazy and then my mom said I couldn't emotionally handle it so that kind of like sealed the deal that I had to do it. Um, <laughs> so then, then my dad was the one who set the you have to raise four thousand dollars and in my mind I was setting it at a thousand so they they bumped it up a lot higher than what I was thinking and they that made me work a lot harder. I had three weeks to raise it before the day of the event. And on the day of the event, I believe I was at about, oh, oh I was maybe 4,600 the day of, and we ended up raise, and I ended up raising um, 6,400. And it was, I don't know. And then it just, so much of it went back to the Morgan breed of like, we had this family here. I had all these people that we had all, everyone's been affected by cancer somehow, whether it's childhood or not. And then, I just had this whole family to go to and ask for help and if you can't donate people were putting it on Facebook and the day of like people were posting things on Facebook like good luck and we're thinking of you and I thought that was really amazing that yeah. it just it's just a huge family I feel like I've got the biggest family in the world I don't have any siblings but I've got a huge family here Exactly well, we love you guys, absolutely, and it's been such a great association for me for um, as long as I've been in the Morgan Horse business, and, and so I'm always proud of your accomplishments, and I'm so glad that we have this relationship, you know, and we get to put you on film and, and cheer you on with all your great endeavors. And so this is the last show of the season, so have a wonderful, relaxing uh, winter, and then we will see all you nice people in the spring, and then for sure back on film at Northampton. Uh -huh. Any closing words, Mr. Peoples? No, nope. thank you very much, and um, it's a great place to be. Yes, dear. Good to go. Thank you. Good to go. <laughs> Mom, happy to be in Oklahoma. Absolutely. See everybody later. I always stay at the Candlewood Suites Hotel. I don't like to feel like I'm traveling, and they have such a casual vibe here. So I've made it my home base. Plus, here, they have the Candlewood cupboard, the gazebo grill, a lending locker, washers and dryers, free, and they're pet friendly. Live, work, and relax on your own schedule and make Candlewood Suites Hotels your home base.